My name is Mark Lipton. I'm from the University of Guelph, where I'm an associate professor in the School of English and Theater Studies. I also teach media studies at the University of Guelph Humber. I've been running the Media Education Project um, for the last seven years, which is sponsored by the Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council and the Canadian Council on Learning. And we run um, one of the largest clearinghouses of media literacy uh, support materials for elementary and secondary teachers in Canada. One of the things that I've been interested in studying um, in, in doing this work for the Media Education Project has been the benefits to uh, teachers for using uh, technology, social media, and media literacy resources in the classroom and their barriers um, um, what barriers have they experienced when trying to integrate technology and media literacy resources in the classroom. And I gave the example of using Facebook and Twitter as both a functional tool or a, and a critical resource. And um, by thinking about functional tools and critical resources is um, a, a, a more sort of academic way of using the language teaching about media or teaching through media. As many teachers are using social media as, let's say, uh, for example, a classroom management system. So there I'm giving the example of media, social media as a functional tool, which is somewhat different as uh, teaching about media its social, historical, and cultural significance. And by that I mean teaching about media. And um, so in my particular workshop, I focused specifically on the benefits and barriers to pedagogy when integrating social media into the classroom. And the focus was on the functional tools and critical resources that I've noticed teachers have been using um, with some great success. And the one case study that I looked at um, with great emphasis was the example of using Twitter. Um, not so much Twitter in the classroom, but Twitter as a resource for teachers who are looking to develop their um, professional learning networks. Current research has demonstrated that one in five teachers are leaving, uh, one in five new teachers are leaving the profession within their first five years of teaching due to lack of resources um, or support. Um, and so I look to Twitter as the social media tool that could provide these new teachers with both support and access to resources. And so our workshop uh, did a quick um, overview of what Twitter was, how Twitter worked, why Twitter was worth the initial time investment, um, and um, looked at how professional learning communities are changing from on-site um, workshops that happen within schools and within families of schools into professional learning networks that are increasingly happening online among teachers with similar interests. One of the things that uh, I spent some time on in the workshop was defining 21st century learning skills, which actually has become a very formal term in academic research. It has been defined formally as having these two components. First, um, a level of collaboration. How are young people collaborating with each other and with people, peers and experts around the world? And, and two, connectivity. How are young people connecting um, to resources by using broadband access? Um, and so with the, these ideas in mind, connectivity and collaboration, 
um, they're leading to a whole new set of skills um, that are changing the yardstick by which we are measuring student achievement and student standards and student um, learning capacities. Um, and so I think that it's important for us to begin to shift how it is that we're teaching and how it is that we want students to be learning.